part two. <laughs> first part, the first part of this, um, you will see it says part one. Uh, it just abruptly stopped. And so I am doing part two. So thank you for coming to part two. <laughs> so what we have, we have our all of our pieces run through the um, mini uh, cut and emboss and, and ready to put together. But we're going to do stamping before we do that. What I wanted to share when it cut off abruptly is that you can do this so that it's like snow falling, or you could do this at the, at the bottom just as a pretty design. Um, not sure which way I'm going to do it yet. Let's see here. I don't want it this way. I think I'm going to do it at the top. Okay, so let's grab our adhesive and go ahead. Just be aware that because you do have these dots, you might get, you know, uh, just want to put some adhesive kind of in between the dots so it doesn't make your um, card stick when it's closed. Also, same thing down here. If you have a little bit of edge, like if you do it in the small machine, you might have this little bit of edge, but if you do it in your large cut and emboss, you won't have it. You might not have an edge. I wanted to make sure I didn't fall. I wasn't off of the um, plates when I ran this through. Okay, I'm going to have this coming from the top. And so this is three and three quarter by um, five and a quarter. So there's a little bit more space at the top and bottom than side to side. So I'm just balancing that out and putting that down. Okay. Now this card is going to open this way. So when I stamp my sentiment, I want to make sure I'm stamping it the correct way. And this says for the inside, make sure I get that nice and inked up. Hoping your Christmas shines bright with the love of family. Um, and so I think I'm just going to stamp that like right here and then I'll have room to sign my name and, and, uh, put some, a little note over on this side. Okay. Next thing is we're going to do seasons greetings and just, I always like to check to make sure that my ink is on there nicely. And then let's go ahead. We're going to stamp this on our, um, die um that we cut out a second ago and i want to make sure that uh, i am right in the center and stamping that down i'm hoping i'm straight <laughs> and it looks straight on my end there we go looks good fabulous all right let's put this here we're done with the ink so i'm gonna close this up and we'll finish putting our card together uh, one last thing that we're going to do is we are going to take the satin ribbon here and it's the soft succulent. All I'm going to do is make a pretty little knot. It's a little bit of a bulkier ribbon, I would say. And so I did uh, doing a bow just seemed to take away from the beauty of um, our foil piece here. So just making that and cutting this at an angle of course there are so many pretty ribbons you might want to use the gold ribbon you could use gold foil and the gold ribbon that might be pretty but i thought the contrast in these two colors just looked so nice so let's go ahead put this together we need our mini glue dots I, I love the mini glue dots for um, material onto paper because it just um, works well. I'm going to take this and just push it down on my mini glue dot and then it sticks onto my um, ribbon. And that is just going to go into the center of my pretty foil piece here. See that? Now we're ready to adhere this onto the front of our card. So let's do that. I'm going to do a little extra adhesive on there just because it is the foil and it's a little heavier. So this is going to be, it's five and a half, so I'm going to go right to the edge, um, side to side. I'm just coming up to make sure I'm getting kind of straight here. And there we go. Okay. All right. There we are so far. So now we're ready to put our season's greetings on the front and we're going to be using some dimensionals. 
And I am going to go ahead and do three on here because it is pretty long and I don't want it to bow or sink in the middle, I guess would be the right way to say it. <clears throat> and then my sentiment is just going to go centered right down here, just like that. Now, that's gorgeous like it is, but I really thought that the, the green um, pearls just are just gorgeous in the to match the um, soft succulent. So let's go ahead and now when you get these, they have red underneath. They're kind of hiding under there, <laughs> but you do have red. Um, now, if you wanted to incorporate red, you could. I just think to stay in the whole monochromatic um, with the greens, it just looks so pretty. And uh, let's go ahead and grab a couple of these. Um, we can, we could put one on each edge here. We could, um, we could put some, I think we'll just put some right on the foil. I think that will kind of pick up that, the color of the green. And I think I'll just do that just to give a little extra, just something different added into that foil. And then I think I'm going to come over here and add some more. So um, let's just bring one there. I have to bring it up so I can see a little better. Um, bring there and where else? Um, I think I'm going to bring, um, don't want to go there. I don't want to do it like line and line to line. That's what I was trying to figure out here. Uh, maybe we'll just, maybe we'll just, I don't know. Maybe we won't do another one. Three, four. I like to work in odd numbers, and that's the reason I'm looking for another place to put one of these. So, um, how about if we just, we'll just come over here, <laughs> do that. All right. There you have it couple different techniques sharing with you and um, there you have your card using those pretty festive um, pearls that coordinate using the dies in that bundle so there you are there is um, a beautiful uh, holiday card and uh, those of you that use Merry Christmas you might have a different Merry Christmas let me show you uh, a d one that I did um, as my uh, first try here and I did it a little different so you could see the two different styles. This one I put to you and yours this Christmas and I use the iridescent um, rhinestones and so my lighting is not allowing it to to show up as pretty as it is in person but anyway there you go there is using to you a different sentiment and then the uh, iridescent rhinestones um, and then there are your the two options. Just giving you a little bit different look, right? Okay, thank you again for um, coming to part two so you could finish this out. If I can, it, hopefully I, if I can edit these where they can go together, I will do that. But right now I don't, I, everything, I don't edit my videos. And so uh, why it froze, I have no idea. I appreciate you being here. If you want any of the products, you can find them right up here at my um, website barbwriter.stampinup.net and then click shop now and you can find all of these products available um, there to purchase. I sure would appreciate you giving a thumbs up if you like this product project. Um, also subscribe if you haven't done that and click the bell so you can get all the rest of the weeks of Christmas that I'll be doing. Um, and I would sure appreciate if you do decide to purchase to choose to go with me. Um, that would help me so tremendously and bring these videos to you. Thank you again. Bye-bye.